Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and clicking the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new video. Stages of Chronic Kidney Disease With chronic kidney disease, the kidneys don't usually fail all at once. Instead, kidney disease often progresses slowly over a period of years. This is good news because if CKD is caught early, medicines and lifestyle changes may help slow its progress and keep you feeling your best for as long as possible. 5 Stages of Chronic Kidney Disease To help improve the quality of care for people with kidney disease, the National Kidney Foundation or NKF created a guideline to help doctors identify each level of kidney disease. The NKF divided kidney disease into 5 stages. When the doctor knows what stage of kidney disease a person has, they can provide the best care, as each stage calls for different tests and treatments. Glomerular filtration rate or GFR is the best measure of kidney function. The GFR is the number used to figure out a person's stage of kidney disease. A math formula using the person's age, race, gender and their serum creating in is used to calculate a GFR. A doctor will order a blood test to measure the serum creatinine level. Creatinine is a waste product that comes from muscle activity. When kidneys are working well, they remove creatinine from the blood. As kidney function slows, blood levels of creatinine rise. Your GFR measures from 0 to 100 and indicates your stage of kidney disease. Below shows the five stages of chronic kidney disease and GFR for each stage. 100 means no disease. 90 above is equal to stage 1. 60 to 89 is stage 2. 30 to 59 means stage 3. 15 to 29 is stage 4. 0 to 15 means stage 5. Once you know the GFR you can determine a stage of kidney disease. Your doctor can use your GFR to determine the appropriate treatment for your stage. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipe and tips, subscribe to this channel.